Cocoa Crafts YouTube channel again another time and today I'm going to do a sort of fabric haul which I hate that word so just I'm going to show you the um, fabrics that I got and some projects that I uh, have in mind uh, to make because uh, when I finish work with a pattern the one that I just released uh, last week I usually give myself a couple of weeks to do actually a little bit of sewing because people think that when you own a sewing business you're sewing for yourself all the time is not the truth I hardly ever sew for myself maybe like 10 minutes when I can but also I teach a lot I teach almost uh, Monday to Friday uh, afternoons so I, I really don't have time because mornings I work on my patterns and then afternoons and evenings are for classes and of course I live in London and I'm almost you know all the time exhausted <laughs> uh, which is something i need to start working on you know resting more and giving myself more time uh to rest and relax and everything but you know let's talk about that another time <laughs> So yeah, um, so yeah, I don't really have that much time to do any sewing. Uh, so that's why I give myself a couple of weeks after releasing a pattern to not start on the next one straight away. Uh, also because I feel like I need uh, um, a little bit of time to you know reset and get more creative again and you know just to relax a bit and also I need to keep on promoting the new pattern and um, yeah there are all the things that I need to do after releasing a pattern related to that pattern so anyway I give myself a couple of weeks to actually you know squeeze as much sewing as I can uh, you know and do all those projects that have been waiting for me for like weeks and weeks and weeks so now I've got the time to start doing them and the projects that I'm going to show you today are not going to be for these two weeks at all. They are going to, uh, I'm going to spread them out along months uh, because um, I've got a list of, uh, this is something that I do uh, almost now all the time, which is having a list with the projects that I want to make for autumn, winter, spring, summer, etc, etc, the different seasons. So that way I can really see uh, which things I think are more useful and uh, it's the same that I did with the changing wardrobes blog that I saw you um, a few weeks ago that you can you know go and, and watch it um, back now if you want uh, so that way I know now what I really need and I also have some projects that are going to be for my for more like autumn winter but uh, if I can start making them now then I will do that anyway just because I have a little bit more time now but I'm gonna just stop talking and rumbling and saying whatever I'm saying I don't even know what I'm saying and start with the projects and the patterns and everything uh, and the fabrics to um, show you just now yay okay guys honestly I think that that beginning of the video was horrible I was going to record it again but I was like no I mean Anna you need to you know move forward and just not try and do everything as you think is supposed to be so let's move on and start with the fabric so this pack in here uh, of fabric is for like a lunch wear outfit because last year in February before traveling to New Zealand on holidays I made a, Stella, a pair of Stella joggers and I also made a couple of t-shirts and I also made a Stella hoodie but I've been wearing them so often like every single day when I get home that now they are ruined um, yeah I've been using them so much and that's good I mean that's a good thing but I, I, I felt that I needed to make a new pair of um, joggers and, and another t-shirt you know something new um, because yeah it was looking horrible um, not, not really be able to wear them anyway uh, anymore so anyway I've got my elastic there so this time because my old uh, Stella joggers from Tilly and the Buttons they were navy and I wanted to change a little bit so I went for this pink uh, with little um, do you know what I'm going to do I'm going to actually put the camera here so you can see the fabrics um, closer so I'm going to do that 
Okay, guys, I think this is much better, right? Because, I mean, you don't want to see my face. You want to actually see the fabrics. So I think it's, it's much better if I show you this um, closer. So this is the speckle sweatshirt uh, fleece fabric that I got for my, uh, that I got for my uh, Stella joggers. You can find this fabric actually in lots of different price, um, shops, online shops, I mean, uh, because I usually buy my fabrics online. This one is from Gatri and Gani but you can find it as well i think fabric godmother has them uh, has this type of jersey in different colors and i think more shops but anyway i just got it at um Gatri and Gani. they're always so lovely um like of course many other shops <laughs> but yeah so ah oh, i love this fabric and you know i love that it has like yellow and kind of orangey themes little bits of um thread i don't know i think it's really cozy and nice so new pair of stella joggers then i'm i'm gonna use this uh which is some sort of I think it's ribbing this one. Yeah, it's a, a navy ribbon fabric for the uh, bottom of the um, joggers, and I might use it for the waistband as well. I'm not sure, uh, just to give it like a contrast color. And this one I got it at Jelly Fabrics, which is an online uh, fabric shop on Etsy, which is really 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 nice if you got babies or kids or if you got nieces nephews whatever a friend's kids they sell they sell like the cutest um jersey fabrics with lots of different prints i i really love that that shop and they also sell like organic jersey and i don't know it's really really nice so this one and then I got these two at Ray Stitch in London because I wanted to make a long sleeve uh, Frankie t-shirt from, again, uh, Tilly and the Buttons stretch book. And this one I really love. I just want to, I mean, it's going to be all the same color sleeves and the body with this navy um, uh, stripey um, fabric. I might have enough for like maybe two of those so I might have to make two and then I got this one for the uh, neckband because I wanted to have like a contrasting neckband something more interesting in mustard so this is like my um lunchwear outfit that I hope to start making um you know in these two weeks uh so I'm gonna leave that in there then I'm gonna show you uh, when I went to Rye a couple of weekends ago, which is, I mean, absolutely beautiful place to go on Camber Sands Beach, it's really, really nice. So I really recommend you going there. And of course, Merchant and Meals, the shop, is there. So I went and, OMG, I wanted to buy everything. I remember that my boyfriend was like, okay, so will you be like five, ten minutes? And I was like, what? I was like, no, just, just go and grab a coffee, you know, just relax for maybe half an hour. Um, so yeah, I just went myself in and wow, the place is so beautiful. I love the building. Um, it's like, I don't know, I, I wish I could work live in there because the building is so beautiful it's really really pretty and uh, it's like modern but at the same time it has like uh like this old building type of you know more like the old um english village type of uh feeling at the same time i don't know i really loved it and well i took a look at the fabrics and i already knew what uh i wanted what i needed um in terms of fabric of course I mean, at some point I had like five rolls that I wanted to take with me, but I was like five bolts of fabrics and I was like, no, Anna, just get the two that you know you really need. So uh, this one is going to be a new pair of pyjamas because my pyjamas are from Muji and they are like, I don't know, six years old. <laughs> and I feel like now I may need to have a new pair so I'm going to use the Caroline pyjamas um, pattern which I already have and I'm going to make the long version really classic um, light cotton which even though if it's for it's for all year round I mean winter and if summer is not too hot I will use this uh, because I don't like wearing really thick um, 
warm clothing when sleeping because I already have like the um, duvet on top of myself and I think that's enough. I don't want to feel really hot when I'm sleeping. So I think this one is going to be really nice. Um, as you see, it's like pink and uh, white. So really simple. Um, with this one, I don't think I'm going to use piping because you've got the, the option of piping, but I want to keep it quite simple. I might add um, white piping at some point i'm not sure but yeah this is going to be a pair of pajamas there you go and this is the other fabric okay here let me just move this here i have to say that i was not going to um i mean i didn't have a specific plan for this one okay i'm going to be honest I okay so um yeah as you can see the color is changing because my camera was like i don't know making it much brighter and lighter than it was the color is more like it looks now so this is a sort of linen it's quite medium weight and oh it is lovely so i think i'm gonna make i mean this was not on my list but now it is i think i'm gonna make a dress uh for like autumn winter even spring um because it's quite thick i mean it's not like a really summery uh fabric so i think i'm going to make a dress maybe the i am patterns which I already have and I made a version, I don't remember the name of the pattern, but it's this one with um, like longer, uh, like drop shoulder sleeves and then um, really floaty. I don't remember now the name. Oh, Casio P. Is it Casio P? Yeah, I think it's Iron Patterns Casio P dress. So I'm going to make that one, uh, I think with this one, because I've learned after years of sewing and making garments that if you choose a um, print uh, it's better to make it as one garment rather than something that you need to combine with other things because I can't I mean I have so many patterns in other um, garments that I can combine them so this one is going to be a dress almost for sure so there you go another one and then I wanted to make a skirt for is for summer spring uh, because I didn't I don't really have I, I have two uh, which are checked fabrics as well. And then I've got the sewing nest, I mean the nest uh, skirt from Tilly and the Buttons, which actually I'm wearing right now. But that one is, I mean, it's a skirt that I think I can wear all year around, so it's not like really summery, so I only have two. So I was thinking about getting this, which is similar to another fabric that I've got as well and that I really love and wear a lot in pink and when I saw this version this one is from Stoff Steel which is this I don't know where they are from exactly maybe they are from them uh, like um, Denmark or Sweden I, I don't know I know that they are in different countries in uh, Germany as well Denmark Sweden I don't know um, somewhere else i'm not really sure anyway so um i got it from them it was quite cheap and uh yeah it's this jersey stripey jersey so i'm going to make a skirt uh really simple i've got actually a tutorial on my blog um on how to make this skirt i don't think i've made a vlog actually for youtube but um yeah um, I made a blog on my uh, website about how to make this skirt. It's super easy. It's like two rectangular pieces or if you want to make it more um, like an A shape to have more volume, but it's basically two rectangular sh uh, shapes and then just some elastic. And I might use this one, which I got some time ago. I don't remember where, but I might use this one for the, so that it's like a exposed uh, elastic rather than a normal one um, so yeah I really like um, this one and also I know that I will even wear it during autumn and winter because my other skirt I've been wearing it all year around and it's something that I'm trying to do all the time whatever I make I mean if it's something really summery because you're going somewhere really hot then that's it I'm not of course going to be able to wear that during winter but I've got lots of dresses and and garments that I know I can wear all year around and that's super super good so that you know that the clothes are not only for one specific month or week in the uk but you know for longer so anyway so that's another thing so this um, that i've just shown you not not this one 
but these like the loungewear the skirt and the pjs are like my most immediate things that i want to make because i actually need them i mean what i need is more like the loungewear and the pajamas but yeah those are the ones so i'm just moving the camera sorry guys a little bit more because i'm gonna pick up the rest of the things for the rest of the year that i want to show you because as you can see the projects are more like all year around so this is my next <laughs> pile of projects so as you can see and I, I i told you many times that i don't own like a, a stash because this is not really like a stash it's more like project pattern project pattern so i know what i'm making with all these I just need to actually, you know, find the time. So I'm gonna start with this one. It's a denim that I got when I was in New York on holidays. And I went to both Mood Fabrics, which was honestly way too much for me. I didn't buy anything there. And then I went to this other shop that I don't remember the name now. Hopefully I will be able to leave it on the um, description box. It's like, it was like, Ber no, not Berry Fabrics, that's Birmingham. <laughs> no, it was like, Jay and Sons, um, I'm not really sure, but they've got this, they, uh, they had this like box with um, off cuts and, you know, sale pieces. So I got this one. I really love it. Ooh, sorry. Um, so yeah, I got this one. I really love it. It's, it's actually darker. Um, it's not because in the camera, I, I see that it looks gray, but it's not. It's more like a sort of green um shade so i'm going to make cleo dungarees because i used to have a pair of cleo dungarees which i used to wear a lot but then um the fabric it was ruined for some reason after some washes there were some white stains that never came off so yeah that's why i'm making a new one and this one is more like autumn winter um of course i can wear it in spring but it's not something that i'm going to make this um next two weeks or whatever this is something that i'm you know, I will do um, in the future, but I wanted to show you. So this one, then I got this jersey uh, when I was at the last knitting and stitching show from Sue Over It. And on one hand, I have to say that I regret it because I have not really used it. I bought it like months ago. And it's one of those things that you think, why did I buy this if I'm not actually... I haven't made the theme, but hopefully I will at some point. So my idea was to make, because I wear a lot in winter, these t-shirts like just like um, a stripey, no, not stripey, with like a spaghetti strap t-shirts underneath your actual clothes just to feel like more warm because there is there is a something that i hate is feeling like my tummy area cold i just hate it so i always wear those t-shirts and i actually wear some uh there's one t-shirt that i wear from um uniqlo which is quite good but i wanted to actually make myself one so this is something that i planning on um, making for uh, autumn winter and because I think I'll have enough fabric I might make maybe two or maybe knickers or something else so I will reuse uh, what's left and you see so pretty it reminds me um, of when I was you know a kid and I used to wear this uh, type of fabric I don't remember the name of how do you call this fabric but you know like Usually I don't remember anything. Uh, next on my list is this one that I actually, this one I want to be able to make it for um, summer, autumn. Uh, is I'm going to use this twill, orange twill uh, that I got from Somi Shine Shine to make the Tello jacket from Pauline Alice Patterns. And I'm not going to um, line it and... I'm going to um, bind all the seams with this amazing bias tape, guys. It's from Cotton and Steel Refill Paper Co. Um, so there is this a shop on Etsy that sells already the bias tape just like this. And I know, I know, I could use maybe some scraps, or, but I don't really have scraps to use for this so i don't know when i found it i was like oh my god it's so pretty it's going to be so pretty on the inside so i went for it so this project hopefully i will be able to make it um for summer uh so yeah that's one and then 
I think this is the last one and then I've got a couple of other things that I wanted to show you but uh, this one is another twill because honestly guys I think cotton twill is the best fabric to use apart from quilting cotton to sew because it's so stable and I don't know I really love it and I love the effect and also I love the fact that um, when you start wearing it it is a little bit tough and rigid but as soon as you start wearing it more and more and more i love to see how it transforms how the fabric you know it, it changes so much and it becomes really soft and, and malleable and yeah i don't know it's really nice this one is again from somi shansham because i think i got um, all the colors that she actually sells on her shop and with this one i am wondering now if i should make another pair of morgan jeans another pair of heroin jeans which are the only two jeans that i've got or if i should try the persephone pants uh from an aisle clothing or there is another pattern that i had in mind which one was that one maybe i've got it here no i don't think i got it i think this is the persephone an Allen. What did I say? Did I say I'm an Allen? I think I just called her different name. An Allen sewing patterns. So the Persephone pants are here. So I'm not sure if doing the Persephone pants or the Morgan jeans. Oh yeah, I know which one. It's one from um, Peppermint Magazine, a free pattern designed by In The Falls. By In The Falls. And it is actually quite similar to the Persephone pants, uh, but I feel like it's, it's got more like a looser fit, which is something that I like more. So I'm not sure. And also when I think about my um, heroin jeans, I totally love them so much. So what do you think that guys, do, should I go for something that I already know I love and do another, make another pair or try something new and then risking that maybe I don't like it. And I know I could do, um, I know what you're going to say. I know that I could do uh, a 12, but you know, I don't have the energy now at the time. Well, maybe I can do a quick one with the Persephone pants just to see how they look with calico and then just go and say, okay, I don't like the feet or whatever. Yeah, I might do that. I'm not sure. Anyway, this one is again for autumn winter. And then last, I want to show you guys because I've got here. Um, I'm going to show you. So uh, these are just a pair of cherry um cherry shorts uh that i made last year as a sample uh when releasing the new pattern this one what's going on okay yeah there you go so this is a pair that i made and that i wanted to be the bottom of a summer pj um sort of combination and then i've got this fabric that i'm going to hopefully use for to do the top with the caroline pajamas um pattern to do the top uh for this and uh, so the weather has not been really that hot so that's why i've not been really drawn to making this but it's here and i want to actually uh, make it at some point I've got the buttons and everything, so I don't know. It's just there. I'm not sure. And then this is another thing that I really wanted to make for autumn winter, which is I found this pattern, which is uh, free to make uh, slippers that are actually like proper slippers, you know, with um, it, it's got like elastic at the back and it's the midnight slipper stitch upon a time i imagine is the name of the company and uh yeah it's really cool so what i want to do is to buy a canvas fabric that is really nice and and funny and uh so i think i might get some of the ruby star society uh fabrics there is one that sister mintaka is already uh pre-ordering with uh fried eggs so i was like I need that. Um, so yeah, I think that I am going to pre-order that one so that I can use it for this. I think it's going to look super cool. Um, so yeah, I think that's my last, last uh, project that I've got in mind. So as you can see, there's not much. And then I've got two um, knitting projects. I think I'm going to put the camera back so that you can see me. 
I love doing this while I'm recording so that you see how awkward all this is. Okay, I'm here. So then I've got several knitting projects. One is continue with my socks, which are driving me nuts. And honestly, I'm hating them, basically. So I'm not sure if I will continue with those. And then I've got a sweater, a jumper, uh, and a cardigan and that's it I mean I've got other projects that I would like to do at some point but I've got the yarn for the jumper and I've got the not the yarn for the sweater but for the cardigan but I will get that and then I've got some yarn that I just forgot about to make a hat a cute hat for winter so yeah those are my next projects to do for for knitting um, because I'm such a slow knitter I'm honestly thinking, considering about leaving my socks to the side because I feel sometimes that I force myself to do something even though I'm really struggling I'm just like yeah yeah you have to do it it's like when you read a book that I used to do that I you're not enjoying it at all but you keep on reading it and I'm just like why am I losing my time if I'm not really enjoying this book just leave it there I mean and usually I go to the library so I, just, I can just return it it's not as, as if I spend the money it's just like okay and you can return the book and just get on with your life and get a different book that you actually enjoy so I don't know if that happens to you but yeah I'm trying not to force myself okay I know the socks, are in, the socks are in there, so they will be there for quite a long time, and that's fine. I will maybe just start with the next project, which is much more exciting for me, the jumper and the hat. I think I'm going to try and do both like at the same time a little bit. Um, so yeah, um, those are my other knitting projects. And of course, I've got all I, on my list of things, is really long but realistically and also thinking about what I really need I think for now this will be totally fine and I don't really need anything else uh, which is a lot of clothes and uh, oh my god sometimes I look in, in my wardrobe and I feel is there's too much in there but then when I compare it to other people I'm just like mm, that's not nothing mine mine is nothing compared to all those clothes so I don't know, I don't like having too much and owning too much because I also feel like I need to wear more and more and more often all the things that I already have and that they are beautiful and I like them because when I change wardrobes I actually could see, oh, I love these clothes, I don't need to make and make and make. So what I'm making now, some things are things that I love, uh, but mainly they are things that I need, so I think that's good. So that's it guys. <laughs> That's me just done with the talking and all the things. Hope you liked the video and uh, give me a thumbs up if you did and uh, subscribe if uh, you haven't already. And please leave a comment below telling me about you know the jeans patterns and if you have tried the Persephone pants as well. And yeah guys, hope uh, you liked the video and we'll see you very very soon.